What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, so we're going to be reacting to the ninth episode of Geki Doll. This one's titled The Living Corpse, because of course it is. <laughs> uh, what, this show, man, it's messed up, and I love it, and it's just bizarre. It really is. Um, so yeah, last time out, uh, we learned a bit more about, what's his face, Hiro, right, was that his name? Um, yeah, uh, Hiro Takazaki. And a lot more about Karu as well, and her seeming involvement with potentially the disaster five years ago. Bringing the TMS to what it is and trying to reconnect with Hero, and basically triggering everything that went off after that. This show requires a lot at the moment, and... I, st I don't think I fully understand exactly all the implications, especially last episode. A lot of the implications that were going on because we also had uh Seria, Ari, and Izumi working through things. We had uh, the entire uh, troop pulling together to try and um, uh, maintain control by hitting 3500 um, uh, 3500 tickets sold essentially, um, which required us to be doing like two or three shows every day for like two weeks, which is nuts. Um, we just managed to scrape through all that, which gives us uh, to maintain control of the TMS. Um, and yeah, whilst uh, Hero has Doll, as creepy as Doll is, I still want to know more about Doll. Um, yeah, Kaoru went off into the disaster area essentially and into a pod of some description. Um, it looked like she was present for the actual event, and it seemed like she was part of the team that was, like, trying to prevent it, or minimize it, because they said this, uh, we've done the best, this is the best outcome we could have hoped for, all things considered, or something along those lines, so I think they expected something bad to happen, but the fact that it was contained to just this portion of the city was a success, rather than being the entire city, potentially even the entirety of Japan, or something nuts like that. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on. I don't know who the living corpse is meant to refer to. Is that referring to Kaoru? Because I think I saw someone, was it one of my comments? Or was I reading out somewhere else? Uh, hypothesizing that Kaoru is Alice. Was that what I saw the comment of? I think it was something like that. Uh, I can't remember if it was on one of my videos or not. Uh, Geki Doll. Episode 8. Um, Karu might be uh, Miki from a different timeline. There was Miki, not Alice. Okay. That's what I remember. Okay. Yeah, because uh, uh, Hiro is obsessed with Miki, not Alice. Alice is irrelevant right now. Um, unless that gets tied back into it at some point. But I don't know what it'll end up being like. Um, but yeah, it, th this show is crazy and kind of messed up, and I love it. So I'm super excited to get back into it. Um, and I'm not going to waste too much time. I've got a lot to do today, so let's just keep going. Uh, as per usual, these are time-based more actions here on YouTube. If you want to see full picture-picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. £4 a month gets you access to all picture-picture actions I do on the channel, which is everything from this season and future seasons. Backdated shows, Patreon request shows, uh, movie reactions are also on there uh, in picture in picture format, as well as you can vote uh, on what movies I uh, watch. It looks like this time it might be Wolf Children, who I just added to the poll in place of your name, and it looks like that one's kind of popular. Uh, but it's it's a it's a tight race between that and uh, Pancreas, so we'll see uh, who ends up winning. Um, so yeah. Uh, here on YouTube, though, we do time based. So, bottom left of the screen, you'll see a time for the episode. I count down three to one play. And on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. Watch this one on Funimation since that's who listed it uh, as per usual. We have the uh, Happy Net logo, then the Funimation logo, so just over 18 seconds of logos. I'll call them out as I go past. You can also use screen flash on my face or the mic to tell when scenes transitioning. So, with all that said, let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In three, two, one, play. Happy Net. Funimation. Cheers.
Here we go. Super Material Theater. It is me. Okay, happy time. Wish I had the lyrics for this. I wonder if there'll be any context clues in this. Alright, The Living Corpse. Still a hell of a title. What? I don't care what you think. Mm. It's not strictly true, but... 
Yeah, I won't do anything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Getting a bit more involved, are we? Uh huh. Mm hmm. True. <laughs> Just go with it. What's Mako's plan here? Who are these three? I get... Hmm.
most of the performance we've got in a long while. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, to the men. Ha. Huh. Is that another one of Hero's schemes? Give me Izumi, I let you continue on doing whatever you want. Probably something like that. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I think that's very true. <laughs> 
She's asleep, yeah. So dumb. Shit. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. With the what? Garu. The credit card. What the? F what? What is going on? Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm getting school live vibes for this. Mm hmm. Doing original authentic theatre, not. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone remembers it off by heart, obviously. All right. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Cause the heart shapes. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it.
<laughs> Why the light blue? Mm-hmm. All right, I need a... Okay, so the crater is not a crater. It is the Grand Material System. Is that what they call it? That can control the TMSs across the world. But it's being made to look like a crater. So what actually happened to the not crater crate? This show. I think we've got after credits though. We'll have something at the end here. Preview as per usual, but... It's nice that Samaka got a bit more screen time because she's kind of been not there for the most part. And it was always like her and Saria were like like the couple almost. But then Saria got Irie and they kind of really pushed that a lot. So we now got a love triangle essentially. <laughs> so what actually happened and how do we have the GMS? I'm so confused of all that. Next time. Okay. Creation of the world and other business? What? Okay. Okay, you Geki doll, you oh my god. Just bizarre as per usual. Like as per usual. Like, I, I shouldn't be surprised anymore by this show. But I continually am. Um Apparently, oh right, yeah, this is something actually I should point out. Um, IQ uh, uh, mentioned this in my Discord. Uh, apparently, the Blu-ray box disc for this is coming out. Um, is coming out tomorrow, or well, would be today as you're watching this, and that has all twelve episodes on it, and an OVA. I assume the OVA is uh, the. Um, Oh, what you call it? Uh, Alice in Deadly School OVA, um, of which uh, I don't see anywhere that currently has it, because um, it's not on Funimation as I would have expected, since uh, they've got Geki Doll uh, and had the stream before it. But no streaming place I've seen actually has the um, has the OVA yet, so I don't know if we're going to get the OVA at any point here in the West, but uh, I'm curious as to what they're going to do with the release of the rest of the episodes, because I, I assume fan subs 
I assume fan subs will probably get the last few episodes at some point. That would seem to make the most sense, but unless the release date is wrong for it, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to plan to do, but uh, yeah. Um, I guess Kaoru is trying to destroy the GMS, right? But why is it there? Why do we have the GMS there? What happened to everyone that was there? I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know what on earth we're going to do here. Because how are you going to explain them? What happened to have all these people disappeared? I assume something went wrong with the GMS. Like it's it's a brand new technology. Something went horrifically wrong. But if the illusion of the crater is being put up by it, just so people don't go in there and don't realize that it's there. What happened before then? Because it's only been happening in the last five years that they've been obscuring this. So what happened for them to want to obscure it? And then what happened to all the people that should have been there? I'm, I'm so confused, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, we've got three more episodes to go. But... Uh... Yeah, the creation of the world and other business. Seems like we're going to start getting some answers maybe about it. I wonder if it's going to tie into the play that we're just doing, Mark a Light Blue or not. I guess we'll see. But this show continues to be just something so different. Like, what other shows have we had in recent times that really capture the same sort of feeling as this? I'm sure there are definitely some I've watched in the past year that could probably fit a similar feeling. Um, I mean, School Live is very much in a similar vein, although School Live's um, story for the most part and its surprise kind of existed only in the first episode. And beyond that, we were just building on it. Whereas the surprise of Gekidol if there is a surprise element of it. This is being slowly worked over the entire series. We've had creepy elements all the way through, and it's like every episode it feels like we add another creepy bit. Like last episode, we've like, Kaorun's involved somehow. This episode, the crater is not real. It's just the GMS system projecting that. What happens, and it can control TMSs, like it's expanding upon every episode, and I we're going to get to one hell of a finale, that's for sure, so... Anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments for what you thought of the episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Winter 2021 lineup you can find on the channel. Thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.